Yes, hi. Is this the Bay Inn Motel? I'm trying to reach Henry Coleman. I was told he might have checked in there. No? Are you sure? Okay, thank you. I've been looking all over for you. You didn't get my messages? Nope. I've been busy. I called every hotel, motel, bed and breakfast in the Palo Alto area, and Henry hasn't checked into any of them. Next calls are the campgrounds. Don't even bother. You're right. Henry's no camper. Which proves my point that BJ is lying. No, he's not. I just came to the house this morning for you. It's from Henry. Why don't you check out the postmark? Palo Alto. Cool. It's got four gigs. That'll hold a thousand songs. Sweet. It's not sweet. It's lime green. I hate lime green. Why? Not only do I hate that color, but Henry knows I hate that color, so it makes no sense for him to send it to me. And a smiley face? I mean, come on! What's wrong with a smiley face? I mean, you could use one sometimes. Most times. I'm not nine. Casey, Henry would never send me anything with a smiley face. It's too cutesy. And what, no note? No hi, how are you, I miss you, I wish you were here, P.S. I'm not dead, love Henry. He's on a business trip, so that usually means you're busy. No, everything about this is so un-Henry, it's ridiculous. This is a con job, and I'm not buying it. What do you mean a con job? Somebody's going through a whole lot of trouble to make me believe that he's okay. Which can only mean one thing, he's not. I think you're being paranoid about this whole thing, Maddie. Oh. Henry's probably just having fun with you. This smiley face is probably a joke. If Henry wanted to be funny, he would have put a skull and crossbones on it. Stupid smiley faces, no, not a chance. This is somebody's lame attempt to make me believe that Henry is okay. I'm not falling for it, so I'm going to do everything. Shh, shh. What? Just walk in. Oh. Just play it cool. I'll play it the way I want to play it. Casey, Maddie, I'm so glad I found you. Why's that? Well... I know how worried you are about Henry, and then that got me thinking, and then I think too much, and now I'm worried, too. So I'm just wondering, has he been able to reach you? I mean, has he been in touch with you yet? Do you really care if Henry's okay? Well, yeah. I mean, I sent him to California on good faith, but if he got himself into some sort of trouble that has prevented him from contacting you, then... Uh, what? You still have doubts about me? No. Turns out Henry is in Palo Alto. Oh, fancy that. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. I guess I'm not the boogeyman after all. Apparently not. Yeah, so how'd you find out? He sent me this. Lime green. And it has this adorable smiley face on the back. Isn't it just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I just can't wait for him to get home. Any idea when that'll be? Well... Who knows? Any time. It could be soon, and it's really up to him. What is that? Well, you know. Yeah, it has a lot of ground to cover. Oh. Uh. Right. And, you know what? So do I. So, Casey, take care of our girl here. And, Maddie, I am so glad you're not trying to turn me into a monster anymore. Mm. Have a beautiful day. You too. Monster's too good of a word. Hey, hold up. What? Don't you think two heads on this case would be better than one? Are you starting to believe me now? Let's just say I have an open mind, right? You do make some good points, but none that are solid enough to take to my dad or any other DA in the country, but... So what are you offering? Let me help you. You? How? I could watch your back. I don't need a babysitter. Well, how about a fresh perspective? As long as you don't hold me up. I won't. I might just keep you out of trouble. All right, let's go over what we've got so far. All right. The thing that keeps driving me crazy is that stupid phone call Henry made. It doesn't make any sense. The one where he told you to stop whining? Yeah. Like I ever whine? And you can accuse me of a lot of things. For sure. But not that. And Henry knows it too. And why would he say it? Well, that's the question, Einstein. Now I just have to figure out the answer. Why would Henry keep telling me not to whine? What was he trying to say? Maybe it's a code for something. 
Did you used to whine a lot when you were a kid? Never. Henry was always the whiner. All right, well, then he's trying to tell you something else. <sighs> yeah, but what? Okay. Don't whine, Maddie. You're always whining. Whine, whine, whine. Whine! Oh my god, that's it! 